guys, welcome back. It's two episodes in a week. Saturday afternoon, I think, is probably when I'm going to schedule this. There's no real football, so you can come and watch me be terrible at Football Manager. So, last episode we had the Brain Dead. We had the Canadian Championship, and we beat Ottawa. So we got the final against Toronto, but before we get that, we've got Continental Competition. So, we've got the holders today from Costa Rica, Herediano, I'm going to call them. There's a lot of Honduran and Nicaraguan teams in here. Again, I have no expectation. I don't know what to expect from Herediano. When we looked, they've got some, some internationals, decent little players, but it's a goalkeeper, so I can't tell. So, we're home first, which obviously, as we know, is the most important game. So I'm pretty much going for the standard team. I'm going to keep the ZB brothers on the wing. Um, Bonsu's a better player than ZB, but he's, he's been on fire recently, so I'm going to keep him out there. So let's see what we can do against Herediano in the North American League. It's exciting times. Maybe we could win every win everything one season. It's a one and done one and done season of the show. We can move on to something else. All right. Apparently we're slight favourites. So let's see. I love that. We just had Gonzalez, Jimenez, and then Grant in the centre midfield. So, it's Magana. Amiobi gets the ball midfield, knocks out Tongaro. Doe getting down that wing. Ball in the box. Tomi Amiobi just over. Unlucky from Tomi. It's a very narrow formation they're playing. We're very width heavy, so it might play in our favour. Soria down that wing. Shani in the middle. Back to Didic. Just patient. Doe. Ball in the middle. Amiobi. Oh, unlucky. That's two chances for the big man. Right, so the Costa Rican keepers fumble that out to Bruno Zibi. Ball in it. David Doe. He's at the crossbar. Unlucky. We are peppering this Costa Rican side. Just can't get the ball in the net. It's another awful goal kick. Back to Zibi. He's got the one minute, Samiobi. It's a save. I think we should be about 3 0 up, boys, to be honest with you. Right, ZB again. Just powering down. That's what he does. Shani, Alan ZB to Bruno ZB. It's Oakley Booth, David Doe, Amiobi, and he's hit the crossbar now. This is sustained pressure at this point. It's Alan ZB. Great ball. Unlucky. Let's keep going, boys. 13 shots we've had so far. That's Astaban. That's his third awful goal kick in a row. David Doe. Charney wins it in the centre. Out to Bruno ZB. David Doe. Ongaro. Oh, that's awful from Ongaro. Look at these stats. I don't know how we're not winning this game, which isn't a good sign. All right, boys, just keep going. Keep trying, it's going to come. To Alan ZB. Moses, it's a minute. Oh no, it's Easton Ongaro. It just looked like it was Moses a minute in. Easton gets his 18 for the season. It's an amazing cross. Yeah, Moses misses it. Ongaro gets it. Fantastic goal. So that's 1 0 to Edmonton up against Heron Diano. The ZB brothers playing around with that. Damn it, Obi. A ZB. Another great ball. Oh, the crossbar again. Just my my wingers and my wing backs just really get those crosses in well. It's Oakley Booth. Didich. Oakley Booth. That's good. Alan ZB wins it. That's unlucky. Do, 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 do. I'm playing good football here in this Costa Rican side. Until then, Amiobi burst past. 
Ball in the middle. Bruno ZB on Garo. It's his second. It's 2 0 Edmonton. But this is the home game, so get as many as we can because we seem to be awful away from home. So Tommy just tries to thunder it in. That's unlucky, to be fair. Just peels away, wins the header. Half goals. We score in that way is hilarious. Sammy OB. Oh, unlucky. I mean, Ongaro should easily be on a hat trick at this point. Right, so let's make our customary hour sub. Uh, what should we do? I think Bonsu can come on for Bruno CB. Uh, I like using Lincourt Joseph so he can come on as well. It'll take Tomy off at 70, I think. Or even better at 69. Right. Because I think we have got a league game in between. So what we'll do is I'll just play that off camera. I'll play that off camera and we'll be straight back in for the second leg. James thunders out to Diok. And he smashes it into the back of that. That's his sick for the season. Assist from Connor James. This is route one, boys. And it's a great kick, to be fair. Just awful goalkeeping. So Esteban is their star player we uh, looked at before, and uh, he's been pretty bad. Right, Bonsu, can we get another? Link called Joseph, oh, that's disallowed. That's a shame. It's Randall Azofelfia with a direct free kick. It's an away goal though, which is frustrating because they really don't deserve it. Like, what's what Connor doing? <laughs> Twenty six shots, twenty seven shots we've had against them. I think three one fat flatters them. To be perfectly honest, but hey ho, a win is a win at this point. Did we know Bonso? Can we get one more before the end of the game? Charney to Alan ZB to Bonsu. ZB Ongaro, great finish. It's his hat trick. East Ongaro's twentieth of the season. He's been a revelation. And to be fair, I don't think Diox actually that bad a player, but. Easter on Garo has just been unreal for me, to be honest with you. Matt headed goals he scores. That's 4 1 to Edmonton, that's a bit better. That's a bit more deserving, I think. It's a good win. Tell the boys they've done well, they've done well. Right, so. we have this Valor game in between so what we'll do is we'll pause here and I'll come back afterwards welcome back I think that was a smooth transition so all you missed was a 1-0 draw with my uh, my B team good goal from Diok but as you can see dropped almost the entire team for it so let's go away to Herindano today playing pretty much the same team we did in the first game Let's just see what happens. I say we're not usually very good away from home, so let's just see how we do. Oh. Hope everyone's doing okay at home if they're uh, self isolating. I'm not, sadly, because I'm at work, but it is what it is. So it's the best goal kick we've seen Istaban do all day, so that's not too bad. He must be all right in uh, Costa Rica. It's Gonzalez. It's Didic saving the day there. We seem to be very weak from set plays, which is disappointing. It's on guard to Soria. Into ZB. Nope. Again, much like Ottawa, they look like a different team at home. And Sorry with a cross. Oh, he's gone direct. 
It's greedy. So sorry, collects midfield. So Didic. Big old ball to ZB, and that is a great goal. That's a hell of an assist for Amir Didic. And Bruno gets another goal. So let's see this in glorious 3D, shall we? So he's just turned Gerard like vision. And ZB smashes one in the top in. So that's the away goal cancel now. That's 5 1 on aggregate. So I think we'll be okay. But we will see. And then I suppose the curious thing is what happens next? I'm guessing it just stays a knockout tournament. It's not it doesn't go into a group stage or anything, silly. It doesn't seem like there's many teams in it, so. So a solid first half, if unspectacular. Let's just keep going, guys. Campos is taking a knock for them. Grant to Sequeira. But what is number four done there? That did it. She just wandered through the pitch. I see. It's one. And maybe he gets caught. Yeah, they're a much better team this time, or we're much worse, which is probably the more likely scenario. Let's shout him a bit. Right, there's a lot of uninterested players, let's make some subs. Right, let's see if we can come off for ZB, because he's complacent. And Charney can come off for James Marcelin. For now, I don't want to take off Tommy, but if he carries on. I think Tommy's on a somewhat of a drought, I think two games without a goal. So it's Yara for them, he's a lovely goal. Gonzalez, it's Azo, Rubio, Lille, Azo, Solano, if only he was Nobby, that's Yara, she's crossed it to Solano, it's Azo, and Randall Azafifa scores a goal again. I'm not sure if he's a real player or not, but yeah, it looks to be decent from range. It's just complacent, giving him too much time, and he just does Connor. Just does him. Right, we've just got to not concede four more. We should be okay. Can we get a last minute winner? Davey Doe knocks in the middle. Did it. I'm lucky. So there we go, it's 5 2 on aggregate, and last year's winners fall to the wayside to the mighty FC Edmonton. So I wonder when the draw is, or it's already been made. Right, so we will play Isidro Metapan, and they are from El Salvador, and they beat a Puerto Rican side to get here. Okay, they've got one player. It's called Eric Pariza. Let's scout him and see what they say. But he is a left sided midfielder. Okay, okay, El Salvador. Where does that leave us with the movement? Cool, so next episode we will do the Toronto double header. Three days apart, which sucks. It's a two legged final, so we'll see. And then we will do the quarter final of the North American League. So as it stands, we could get a domestic well, not domestic, we could get a treble this season, which would be pretty fun. So I hope you've liked these this episode, and I will see you next time. Bye now.